Is the most dangerous volcano in the world about to erupt? As a result of impending supervolcano threats, officials at Yellowstone National Park recently sounded the alarm. Scientists and emergency personnel are worried due to an unexpected dangerous explosion that occurred in the park, and the spikes in seismic activity as well as geothermal changes observed in recent weeks. Consequently, the park was shut down and an evacuation order was issued. Is the Yellowstone supervolcano reawakening? If so, what dire consequences could we encounter? Come along as we delve into the scientific details and consider the possible worldwide consequences of a Yellowstone eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano is far from inactive as evidenced by many worrying incidents that have occurred in recent weeks. It's been a week since a hydrothermal explosion at Yellowstone National Park. On July 23rd, a powerful explosion unexpectedly occurred near the Sapphire Pool, which is about two miles northwest of the Old Faithful Geyser. As the ground near the Biscuit Basin geothermal area of the park exploded upwards, columns of mud and pulverized rock rose to 200 feet in height, producing a dark black plume. Simultaneously, large boulders of geyserite rock began falling back to the ground, crashing down on a group of tourists. After the explosion, Park officials shut down the area and evacuated the tourists. Yellowstone National Park after an explosion that happened last month. Thankfully, no tourists were hit, but scientists fear this incident might be a precursor to a much larger eruption that is waiting to happen. Hydrothermal explosions could represent unusual activity at this large caldera volcano. According to the USGS, and hazardous these events were. Hydrothermal explosions occur in the park each year. However, those typically occur in more remote areas. Large hydrothermal explosions occur on an average of every 700 years. The area northeast of Yellowstone Lake is home to the three largest known hydrothermal explosion craters on Earth. Mary Bay, a crater formed 13,000 years ago, is the biggest at a mile and a half wide. Turbid Lake is a mile across and was formed 9,400 years ago and Elliot's crater is nearly half a mile wide and was formed 8,000 years ago. An explosion big enough to leave a crater the size of a football field can be expected every few hundred years. These explosions can happen anywhere there is hydrothermal activity. Therefore, going forward, given the changes in geology, park officials say more explosions are now possible in the Biscuit Basin over the next few weeks. As a result, the park has closed the area to visitors for the rest of summer. Along with hydrothermal explosions, scientists are also becoming more concerned about the increased seismic activity and geothermal changes. Although Yellowstone has always been a hub for seismic activity, there has been a noticeable rise in volcanic turbulence in recent weeks. Uplift is the term used to describe the phenomena where scientists have noticed that the ground in some parts of Yellowstone has been bursting upward. Pressure from the buildup of magma and gases beneath the surface is what is causing this uplift in the crust. Some regions have seen a rise of as much as 6 inches in the last 3 weeks, which is a concerning rate that suggests the possibility of an eruption. It's truly living, breathing, and every once in a while... Yellowstone's well-known geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles are among its geothermal characteristics that have undergone noticeable alterations in tandem with seismic activity. Normally erupting at regular intervals, geysers have become unpredictable with some becoming more frequent and intense. Usually stable hot springs have shown notable temperature spikes and color shifts suggesting chemical changes in the water. The new gases and minerals that are being introduced by the rising magma are what are causing these alterations. More gas and steam are also being released by the active fumaroles, additional proof that the magma chamber under Yellowstone is extremely active and may be approaching a critical point. Officials have warned the public with several cautions in response to these concerning indicators. But things can happen that we're not really ready for. Using a network of seismometers, GPS stations, and thermal imaging cameras to measure changes in real time, the United States Geological Survey and officials of Yellowstone National Park have been constantly monitoring the situation. Their information suggests that there is a significant rise in the likelihood of an eruption.
Understanding the science behind Yellowstone's supervolcano will help one to grasp why it is necessary to be prepared for a large-scale evacuation. Perched on top of one of the world's most expansive active volcanic systems is Yellowstone. The supervolcano's 45 by 30 mile crater was created thousands of years ago by intense eruptions. The enormous magma chamber that lies beneath the caldera provides energy to the geothermal features that are Yellowstone's main attractions. Yellowstone's supervolcano is dangerous because of its inclination for catastrophic eruptions. Large volumes of ash and volcanic material may be sent into the sky during these eruptions, changing the climate and wreaking havoc on a large area. Although big eruptions are uncommon, the ramifications of the last one which happened some 640,000 years ago make close observation and preparation necessary. The current surge in seismic and geothermal activity at Yellowstone points to more magma movement inside the chamber. Rising ground surface, erratic geyser activity and changing hot spring properties all point to pressure building beneath the surface, raising the probability of an eruption. In the last 2.1 million years, Yellowstone has seen three major eruptions, each of which has drastically changed the surrounding area and had an impact on the ecosystem. The greatest and most potent of Yellowstone's eruptions, the Huckleberry Ridge eruption occurred 2.1 million years ago and erupted around 2,500 cubic kilometers of volcanic debris. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff is a vast geological deposit that attests to the eruption scale. Next we have the 1.3 million year old Mesa Falls eruption that produced about 280 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. This eruption produced the Mesa Falls Tuff and layers of it have been discovered even in the Midwest. This eruption had a significant effect on the landscape even if it wasn't as severe as the previous one. The Lava Creek eruption which happened 631,000 years ago was the most recent significant eruption. Approximately 1,000 cubic kilometers of material were ejected. Ash deposits from this occurrence spread over a large region including the central United States, forming the Lava Creek Tuff. This eruption demonstrated the possibility that future events could have an influence on areas well beyond Yellowstone's immediate neighborhood. Scientists are still investigating the behavior of the volcano and developing models and projections to help us better understand the likelihood and possible consequences of the next eruptions, though it is impossible to predict exactly when or if Yellowstone may erupt once more. Scientists have developed various scenarios to help us better understand the possible outcomes of a Yellowstone eruption, from minor events to a major supervolcano eruption. The least dangerous situation entails somewhat localized hydrothermal explosions. The quick conversion of superheated water to steam which results in explosive eruptions of steam, water, mud and rock is what causes these explosions. Even though they are damaging, these incidents usually only affect a small region at a time. A moderate volcanic eruption is a more dire situation. Such an eruption may destroy infrastructure, upend ecosystems, and endanger human life. 200 to 500 cubic kilometers of material would be ejected during this kind of eruption, blanketing sizable regions in thick layers of ash. Everything within a 100-mile radius would be destroyed by pyroclastic flows. A full-scale supervolcano eruption is the most disastrous possibility. More than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material would be ejected during this kind of eruption, creating a vast cloud of ash with far-reaching consequences. A super-eruption would produce ash fallout hundreds to thousands of kilometers from the epicenter with the thickest amounts falling within a 500-mile radius. States including Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado would see notable ash deposition, perhaps down several feet. The eruption would contaminate water supplies, kill crops, and cause disturbances in air travel over most of North America and maybe beyond. The consequences would be just as bad in the long run. Global temperatures could decrease significantly as a result of volcanic ash and gases introduced into the atmosphere. This event is referred to as a volcanic winter. 
The effects of the changing global climate could have a long-term influence on ecosystems and human society. Given these consequences, the prospect of a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone is a cause for significant anxiety, and the authorities are doing everything in their power to understand, monitor, and reduce the potential risks. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and other partners recently unveiled a new volcano and earthquake monitoring plan that seeks to enhance regional monitoring and hazards assessment. Seismometers, GPS stations, and other tools are strategically positioned around the park as part of this plan to offer real-time data on the geological activity taking place below the surface. Despite the worrying recent events, Yellowstone officials assert that there is no imminent threat of a volcanic eruption. The recent events are likely related to the movement of fluids and gases beneath the surface, a natural process in such a geologically active area. However, scientists are not taking matters lightly due to the unpredictable nature of this volcano. The ongoing monitoring and research efforts will continue to provide early warning signs and insights into the complex dynamics of Yellowstone's volcanic activity, ensuring preparedness and safety measures are in place. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone erupting? Leave your opinion in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.